I stumbled upon this article the other day, 10 Black Scientists That Science Teachers Should Know About. And there's a nice list of some people that are familiar to me and others that I didn't know about. And many of these have descriptions with videos and things like that. So I thought this was kind of interesting and I wanted to turn these into trading cards. I used to have trading cards for physicists in my classroom. I would use those to um, break students up into groups and things like that, and they were famous physicists, but I thought here is another um, way to have trading cards. So I found a template by John Sawash. He is a tech trainer for teachers, and there is a link to this page in the description for this video, but his template I use to modify and make my trading cards. And he has it nicely laid out here. So easily I could go into the image that he had, or you can take my template and use the image, and you can right click, and then you can go to replace image. And you can replace the image with an image that you have, or by one that you find online using a URL. Or you could have um, uh, uh, photos that you have of your students and make trading cards for your own students or people in your department, things like that. I chose to do it for this list of 10 black scientists. So as you see, I um, went through here and I pasted in the information from the website onto here, but I thought, you know, it would be nice to have a little bit more information, um, you know, to take this a little bit farther than the card. I wanted to have the back side of the card play the video that would be associated with the scientist. So I don't know if you know this, but in Chrome, when you go to a website, you can click the share button and choose create QR code. And this little QR code, it, this is an easy way to get a QR code right from your browser. There are other ways, of course, but this one here you can download. And so now I have the QR code for this scientist that I could put on the back of the trading card. So now the key is just to get the people to match up with the right backings for the QR codes on the back. They look like this. They're down over here. So if you notice, um, I have one front, two front, so it's the second card, three front, and I go through that four, five, six. And then right here, this one starts off with what, not one, three, two, one, six, five, four. And that's because I'm going to print these six per page. So the, the way to see that is I'll, I'll kind of arrange this right here so that we see six at a time. And then when you think about this, you have to print this front to back. So George Washington Carver is here. That means when you flip the page over, George is going to be over here on the back side. So that's why his back side of his card has to be here. And May Carroll is the same. It's the reverse. Percy, fortunately, is in the middle, so he can stay right where he is on both cases. I do the same thing here for the bottom row. Catherine is on the left side, but for the page for the back, I have to put Catherine on the right side. So these um, lefts and rights get flipped and the middle stays in the, in the right same spot. Then I just go to the printer and I'm going to show you these print parameters here. Let me zoom in as much as I can. Let's see if I can go one more. Okay, so the print parameters that you want to use when you print this is you are going to, if you've got a color printer, you're going to want to do the color. And then you're going to do pages per sheet, six pages per sheet. You scale it to flip, uh, to fit the paper. And then finally, you want the both sides, uh, print on both sides, and you want this one right here. It's the second choice, flip on the short edge. I'm using the Chrome browser. So if you have a different browser, you're gonna have to tinker with this. But that's how you're gonna get these pages to kind of line up so that the cards print in the right orientation on the back side. And then um, I ran them through a laminator and I made little trading cards and go from there and we're off to the races. Now I had the template here that I'm sharing with you, which is also linked in the description, only has um, six of them. So if you look at this, I have the first six um, right here and then the back page for the, for the next six.
Now we could have a case where we have more than six, so then you're just gonna copy and paste in new slides. But if you don't have them in you know, sets of six, you're gonna have to get a little creative with the manipulation. So I have these four more, and so I put them here. So Edward is here, and Walter is here, and Annie is in the middle. And if you look at that, then I flip Walter and Edward. But I had to, for Alexa at the bottom, I had to just put in two blank slides so that she could be right in the middle and then a blank slide there so that it would line up. You manipulate it around using some blank slides and moving things around, you'll get this to print out just the way you want it. So that is your trading card template. I'm eager to hear what trading cards you will make.